No, I didn't get blocked by AOC. Ben Shapiro talked about you in Hogwarts Legacy for the first seven minutes of his stream today. I added onto the playlist, FYI. You were right. He is an LSF Andy now. There is 0% chance that this motherfucker talked about me. The woke left goes after Hogwarts Legacy for the supposed transphobia of Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling. Matt Walsh humiliates a Democratic legislator over child gender views on places like Metacritic. However, some fans and gamers are boycotting the game in protest of J.K. Rowling because, of course, she has said that men are men and women are women. Some popular game review sites like Kotaku, Polygon, and Eurogamer have not yet reviewed Hogwarts Legacy despite the review embargo lifting on Monday. Others have denounced J.K. Rowling's comments and voiced support for transgender people in their reviews. Jesse Earle, one trans YouTuber and writer, tweeted in December that unlike consuming previously owned Harry Potter books or films, purchasing Hogwarts Legacy while Rowling is, quote, using her ongoing platform to target and also justify her continued targeting of trans people is hateful to trans people. Rowling responded, accusing her of pure think. Why are you a deeply religious man all of a sudden advocating for witchcraft, which is inherently satanic? He's like, witchcraft is fine. As long as it's a trans, uh, as long as it's a transphobic person that's advocating for said witchcraft. If it triggers trans people, then I'm on board with it. What's up with this, Ben? Why are you pro-witchcraft, motherfucker? This is some heretical bullshit, dude. What the hell? You're an idiot. Satanism is religious, you twat. Wait, what? You think Ben Shapiro considers Satanism to be a real religion? He doesn't even think Islam is a real religion, dog. You fucking crazy. <laughs> He can't say shit. His side was boycotting M&Ms. Yeah. Some streamers on Amazon-owned Twitch platforms, including Will Overgaard and Nicotine, have publicly voiced opposition to the game. And the idea here is that we have to make sure that, that no one engages in a game because the creator of the game does not agree with you on a very radical point of view. All of this, despite the fact, by the way, that apparently there is a transgender character in the game. I'm not kidding you. Apparently... Hogwarts Legacy actually does have a transgender character named Serona Ryan, is again, is according to Forbes. That, that, by the way, would be the middle managers at Warner Brothers deciding that in order to avoid the flack, they're simply going to give in to the woke left. But Serona... <laughs> give in to the woke Serona left. I know it's a religion. Shut up, chatters. A cavern in Hogsmeade Village, an NPC that the player can speak to. Serona doesn't outright say she is a trans woman, but she implies it through her dialogue when she talks about her old classmates and says, took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Now, is that going to buy off the woke left? Of course, it's not going to buy off the woke left. Of course not. They're still angry. And one of the people who is, uh, I think, most hilariously involved in this controversy now is Hassan Piker. He used to be associated with the Young Turks. Fuck! And now he is... Stop! Get my fucking name out of your goddamn mouth, Ben. Do not, do not go there. No! A gamer who declares himself a socialist while buying himself mansions. Really good socialist, Hassan Piker. He's doing some good stuff this week, by the way. He actually donated <laughs> a bunch of money to- Bro, he literally did the same thing. It's like socialism means no mansion. The fuck? Dude. Anyone who considers themselves a social democrat or a leftist on the internet, if you are repeating what fucking Ben Shapiro is saying as a, or, or, or sorry, the hammer and sickle Twitter folks that love, love farming drama so they can get some like, they get, get like eight new people to listen to their fucking sub stack, okay? You're doing the same shit he's doing because it is right-wing propaganda to claim that socialism is a fucking poverty cult. Okay, it is about your relations to the means of production. It is not about, oh, this person is rich and I kind of don't like him. So I guess fuck that guy. Anyway, we got to get Ben off LSF for real, man. It's been his bread and butter for the past 10 days. I know he's like literally watching LSF like fucking Dick Serto. He's using LSF talking points. Of the Turkish earthquake. And then he also did some stupid stuff, which is sort of what he normally does. He announced that he is not going to play Hogwarts Legacy. And the reason he's not going to play Hogwarts Legacy is not because he is in principled fashion. Fuck 
fucking god damn it, dude. And angry that J.K. Rowling is such a transphobe, he's not going to do it because he says he's a coward. Which, okay, I mean, points for honesty. This is how I this is how I literally got fucking ass blasted by everyone involved in this argument. Me saying, I don't want to fucking play this game because it's not worth the headache, even though originally I wanted to do a fundraiser around it because I understand this space and I understand how popular this game was going to be. So I knew that it was inevitable that the boycott efforts were not going to work. Means that I have a difference in opinion, okay, with some of the louder trans voices in the space who wanted to boycott it, okay? That is a difference in opinion. Now, of course, what was going to happen inevitably happened. People focused their attention on me and got mad at me because I was speaking as a cis ally over trans voices, which doesn't matter. Yes, I was. I was, I was, over, I was speaking over trans people as a cis ally not as a cis ally, but as someone who understands the space better than you. That's it. That's it, okay? That's it. That's just the truth. I understand the streaming space better than you do. Most of the people that are chirping on Twitter don't understand it, and that's fine because you have better shit to do. You don't understand the streaming space. You don't understand the gaming space as well, and that's fine. That's why a lot of people made valuable criticism that fell on deaf ears like why don't you play a different game and raise money that's not about fucking uh you know playing any game the point was to take the narrative and shift it into a direction that was positive because it was inevitable that it was going to be successful but it doesn't matter we have a dis difference in agreement on how to protest in that regard okay and everyone got very upset and that's okay it's not going to change my convictions. It's not going to change my mentality. I'm not going to like be like a why I left the left type motherfucker, okay? Because I have a backbone. And anyone that says like, anyone that says that this is a grift is hilarious, especially if you're trans and you're like, this guy's doing like allyship points for a grift. Are you stupid? Do you not know how much more successful it is to just be transphobic? Matt Walsh exists. Ben Shapiro exists. These are multi-million dollar platforms that almost entirely disseminate anti-trans propaganda. Please, for the love of God, if you're a trans person, you know this better than anyone else, you know, check yourself before you fucking tweet dumb shit like that. And it's fine. I understand why you're mad because everyone is against you. I understand why you're mad because legislation is against you. But trust me, like there is no clout to be had by defending trans people, just like there's no clout to be hand uh, to, to be had by defending marginalized communities. There's no clout to be had by being a fucking socialist. Your life is bullshit when you do this. It's awful. Hence why I don't do it for the clout. I do it because I believe in it, okay? Jesus Christ. We're not that far removed from Steven motherfucking Crowder getting a $50 million deal and casting it aside, and everybody forgot about it. They're like, you're doing it for the clout. Yeah, dude, it's so clouded. It's so sick. I love having, like, internal arguments, intra-community arguments on a daily basis over minor disagreements, dude. It is the best. I love looking like a fucking fool to the right wing as one of the most prominent voices on the fucking left every goddamn day as they laugh at us and go... Lol, look at how fucking stupid you are. You made your bed. Now you have to sleep in it. This is what happens when you cultivate a woke audience. That's literally what everyone fucking says all the goddamn time. No one does this shit because it's like really uh, exciting and is a good way to make money. There are infinitely better ways to make money. I saw some ex-fans saying that you were inciting hatred against trans people. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Because people are fucking unhinged and emotions go high emotions are uh, uh you know emotions inflame people and and make them say things that they might not even fucking believe three seconds after they press uh send tweet okay <sighs> here hassan only reason why i i'm not playing this game and i know a bunch of other people are not playing this game is because we know that it's not worth it to get bullied endlessly and called transphobic endlessly in, in in when we have massive uh queer communities and audiences that's it everybody everybody knows everybody 
knows how much left this mother of the chirp on the internet. They got no power. All they do is chirp, chirp. Yeah, it comes from a place of powerlessness, which I'm right. I'm right on. I stand by that. Okay, straight up chirp. And that's precisely why so many fucking people that would otherwise like play it, maybe even raise money for, uh, you know, charities or whatever. Um, you know, they're, they're not doing it. Okay, it's kind of an amazing thing to go on your own show and then just admit that you're a coward and that you won't say the thing. So, like, this is so stupid. This is me having a conversation with my audience about how leftists should conduct themselves. This is not something that you should turn into fucking agitated propaganda by saying you're a fucking coward. It's like, if anything, it's the opposite of being a coward. Right-wingers, if they had any fucking comprehension, would look to this and go, you know what? He's actually cleaning house, quote unquote, by staying true to his opinions and literally fucking mentioning that the reason why I'm not doing this, even though I had a good strategy, in my opinion, and I still stand by that, to protest or to turn the fucking, uh, to turn the conversation towards J.K. Rowling being transphobic in a positive manner to a broader audience as a media personality who understands the space better than you. I'm sorry, that's just the fucking truth, guys. Holy shit, okay? <sighs> and standing true to my opinion and openly stating it and openly using this as an opportunity to be like, this was wrong, let's not do this again next time, okay? Let's not do this again next time. Ben turns around and fucking says he's a coward. If I'm cowardly, I would just say, oh my God, I'm such a good ally. I'm such a good ally. That's why I'm not playing the fucking game because I literally believe that like consumer side decentralized boycotts are totally valid and totally effective. And I care about your point of view and I care about your opinions. That's not the case. I've built a community that is trans positive, that also is a safe space for trans people, not to the degree that you expect from your fucking furry Discord group, of course, because there's still an educational component here. But on top of that, I think that this is an adequate way to fucking market and to bring more awareness. I don't need to play this game. I don't play video games in general, okay? I do cultural commentary over certain video games, this game being one of them, of course. But that is precisely why I wanted to do what I was doing, okay? If I was a coward, I would have just said, I love, I, I, you guys are so right. I have no convictions. I have no opinions on consumer boycotting. I have no... Uh, opinion on like decentralized uh, activism of this magnitude of this sort that was uh, demonstrably going to fail, but I, you know, still think that it's okay. You know, that's not what I did. I openly stated what I was angry about and I got fucked for it. And people screamed about how transphobic I was. And I understand why people got mad and upset. Okay. I get it. I totally understand it. I'm not even mad at all the trans people that were upset at me saying I'm transphobic, fake allyship, whatever. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter to me, okay? My goal is not to have a larger trans audience. My goal is to have a large audience of fucking normies who are not transphobic, okay? That inevitably leads to one of the largest trans audiences on the fucking internet. 13% of this goddamn community is fucking trans, okay? Because this is a space for entertainment and education. And my overarching goal always is to get normies to not be transphobic. If you're a trans person, you're already not transphobic. You've already gone through that 4chan groiper phase and you're no longer transphobic. You recognize that you're trans, okay? So it's not for you. I agree with you. Pretty sure the trans people don't want to be patronized. I mean, some, some do. Because it's not a monolith. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, if you know anything about trans communities online, you know the one fundamental rule is that, like, no two trans people can agree on the same thing ever. And if you disagree on, on anything, even in, in a minor capacity... It's all out warfare, okay? Other than the fact that Matt Walsh is a piece of shit and, you know, does not deserve a platform nor 
I'm not going to say anything else. Okay. Um, and, and, you know, other things like that, but But like, that's the point. And it, it's stupid. It's like really, really fucking, it's really, really silly to like constantly reinforce the narrative. But it does make me very upset when fucking Ben Shapiro uses as an opportunity to cut propaganda to be like, look, this fucking woke idiot made his own bed and now he has to sleep in it. It's like, yeah, bitch, I know. That's why I'm not a fucking grifter, okay? Yeah, it's annoying. It's annoying all the fucking time. Yeah, it's the truth. It is very annoying. And yes, I wouldn't have to deal with any of this shit if I was a right-wing commentator, okay? But I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I was a right-wing commentator. That's the difference. Anyway. It's okay, though. It's like a lot of times when this shit, a lot of times when, when this stuff gets taken out of context is when it leaves the intended audience. That conversation is supposed to be between me and some trans members in my community that were upset, okay? That's it. That's it. That, but, like, that's more so about uh, a difference in opinion amongst people who universally agree on most values, uh, most important one being that, like, trans people should be left alone and should not be eviscerated by way of legislation or through stochastic terror, okay? But, of course, that conversation leaves the intended audience and turns into fucking propaganda, that conversation leaves the intended audience. Holy fucking shit, man. Give it a rest. Okay. Suck my dick. Fuck you, idiot. In other words, I was a coward. No, no, that is the opposite. If I'm a fucking coward, I just say, I, a coward says things that they do not believe. You are not brave for f playing a fucking wizard game that was intended for children. That's not bravery. Please get it out of your fucking head that it's super brave to play the fucking child's wizard game, bro. What the fuck? You're not brave for like, oh, I triggered the trans people. They have no power, okay? If they had any fucking power, they wouldn't be yelling at me. They'd be trying to like boycott the entire fucking platform or, or they would be taking down the video game, but they have no systemic power. That's why they're fucking yelling at me. That was what I was saying. Your anger is understandable and justified. You're just misdirecting it and whoever will listen to you. And that comes from a place of powerlessness, understandable feelings of frustration though, as a consequence of insane amounts of legislation being written in every fucking state by way of the state legislature that sidesteps democracy anyway to fucking write, your, write you out of existence. Oh, but it doesn't matter. No matter how many times I describe this complex situation, people just literally see shapes and colors and don't listen to what I am saying. Okay? Oh. Because you're so afraid of your own fan base. I mean, he's literally, he literally said the... I'm not afraid of my own fan base. If I was afraid of my own fan base, I would have just fucking literally said... Oh my God, you guys are so right. You guys are so fucking right. I'm not playing this game because I think it's an act of solidarity, but I don't agree with that. And I can't shut the fuck up. The entire reason why everyone on the left on trans Twitter says I'm a transphobe and everyone on the right is saying I'm a fucking coward is literally because I'm the exact opposite where if I don't agree with something, I just say it. I can't stop myself from fucking saying it, whether it be America deserving 9-11 or this, okay? That's the point. The only reason he's not playing is because people who quote, quote, chirp, chirp, chirp are, um, are basically bullying him into not playing the game. Later, he tried to walk this one back. He went on Twitter. He said, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. People who want to boycott the game aren't wrong to hate J.K. Rowling. She's awful. Except it's fruitless. No. That's true. It's That's been my position since day one. Oh my God, he's clip-chimping LSF fucking uh, uh, posts. He's watching LSF and he's clip-chimping shit. I'm going to lose my mind. No matter how much trans folks want to push for it. It's like trying to boycott Disney. Most people have no idea and don't care about JK Rowling at all. And they just want to go to Hogwarts. Okay, well, I mean, you may be- I never walked back anything. Oh my God, he is becoming the most annoying type of fucking debate lord. 
Ben Shapiro has figured out the the trick to to get me to stop fucking watching his shit altogether. This is it. Correct about the failure of the boycotts, but they've already won by getting people like Hassan not to play the game by bullying him. They've achieved their goal. By the way, now, hey, to all the fucking to all the radlibs on Twitter that said these exact same words, you and Ben Shapiro are in agreement. Because I saw this take a lot, too, from trans posters on Twitter who were like, it seems like our bullying is working because, like, you're not playing it. I'm like, no, no, you're, you're not understanding the point. He is incapable of understanding the point because he's a fucking reactionary piece of shit who's also a transphobe. You should be able to at least have a, a fraction of charitability to be like, well, this guy, this guy doesn't have to be fucking non-transphobic. This guy probably would make more money being a fucking transphobe. He must be genuinely against transphobia. So I'm going to be a little bit more charitable when I say he has a difference in opinion in what kind of tactics we could be utilizing in this circumstance. Ooh. Now, again, th there is a massive gap that has now been exposed between the market, which hates wokeness, and the people who actually push the cultural window to the left. There is this huge gap because Hogwarts Legacy is dominating Twitch right now. According to Kotaku, the open world Harry Potter RPG is now the most popular game on the live streaming platform. So the market loves Hogwarts Legacy. And yet all of the commentators and the gamers and all of the people who are on the internet, the people like Hassan Piker, they're openly saying that it's not wrong to boycott it, that in fact, they themselves are not going to play the game out of pure fear of their own audiences. So, so no, I'm not afraid of my audience. I don't care. I've made that very clear multiple times. If I was afraid of my audience, then I would not have said any of those things I said, which has inevitably ended up with, you can say, yes, you are all you want, you fucking idiot. Why is it that so many people refuse to comprehend the most basic thing here? If I was afraid of my audience, you think I don't know how to act around their desires? People always fucking say, Hassan, he says whatever the most popular left-wing thing is. It, you think I don't know what the most popular leftist thing to say in that circumstance, what the expected thing to say is, to be a good ally, quote-unquote? Shut the fuck up. I would say that instead. I'd be like, I'm so sorry. I think it's the right thing to do. At the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break, and if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You get one free Prime subscription a month, and you can also get gifted a sub. They're just clipping you, dude. That's why they're acting like they don't get it. I know. Anyway, one sandwich, please. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Kinda orange, thank you for the five gifted subs. Allowing 10 people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Yes, I do do this to lift my spirits. Yes, Ben Shapiro loves your, loves your piker. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Did that come to you in a moment's notice or do you plan it in advance? No, it comes to me in a moment's notice, baby. When opportunity is hot, I strike, okay? Whew. And it does make me feel a lot better, to be honest. It's just like, it feels so good when I hit that segue. Oh, fuck, it feels good. Bro, honestly, souring your rant, you actually described how afraid you are of what people would say. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. If I was afraid of what people would say, I would literally fucking say the right thing. If I am, oh my God, you have to be deliberately obtuse. You cannot be this stupid. There is no way human beings are this fucking stupid. The irony is, I said I don't want the fucking headache, but because I can't shut the fuck up, I still said it. That it was like a bullshit piece of, of uh, uh, feckless and, and completely ridiculous uh, uh, boycott moment, okay? I still said it. That's the point. <sighs> Streamer says he's pro-trans but is afraid of his trans audience. Curious? I'm not. Ism-ish. Thank you for the five gifted. Photo Metal 17, thank you for the five gifted. Socialist Thug Jane, thank you for the five gifted. And the Jin, thank you for the five gifted. Okay? 
I don't know why people do not understand what I am saying. I think the point is you weren't proposing playing the game just for your own benefit and to do a fundraiser. I really like the idea of creating a huge PRL for JK Rowling and it would have gotten huge media coverage while fundraising a huge bag of money for trans causes. Shame that it didn't happen. You understand concepts like earned media that regular chatters and worthless Twitter slacktivists don't. Exactly. Exactly. The problem is because this space is just bullshit for a lot of people. Um, I've thought about this a lot. Uh, what we do is just like seen as like silliness, right? And and there is truth to that. What we do is silly. It might still be valuable to a lot of people who change their minds over the course of me fucking endlessly yelling at them and doing ad break segues and shit like that. But like from the outside, it's just like, oh, this silly bitch who's in a fucking mansion is like telling me, a trans person, what to do and what not to do. What do you know? Well, I know a few things. I didn't get to this position, okay, because I don't know anything. I got to the position I'm in because I at least have some understanding of fucking media and the space that I'm in where I'm one of the top fucking performers. Like, God damn it, dude. And this is very much in my realm. That's it. Just show these brain dead chatters what you said yesterday. Stop trans. We need to find a meaningful way to stop trans legislation from passing at state legislatures. Right now, trans existence is being fucking erased. These psychopathic fascist dickheads are literally making it illegal to be trans in public with their anti-drag laws. They're making it illegal to give HRT to trans people. It is fucking disgusting. It's despicable. It's one of the most significant ongoing human rights violations that is happening in the United States of America. I've talked about it a lot. Jake, you're not afraid of us. You hate us. Okay, shut up. Stop. Stop making these jokes, please. Stop. Like, because people do legitimately think that. Anyway a lot jk rowling isn't even transphobic for real she just wants the definition of what it means to be a woman to be diminished she's pro-women not anti-trans no man that's propaganda she absolutely is anti-trans trans women are women no she 100 wants to fucking kill trans people okay make no fucking mistake don't be ridiculous have you explained what jk rowling has done financially as in anti-trans bills in detail the lgb movement and a whole litany of other turf and turf adjacent movements in the uk but the way to combat that is not by like monitoring people's consumption especially if you're monitoring of people's consumption is not followed up by like tangible counter movements you know what i mean if you just say harry potter's written by a transphobe so you're transphobic for watching it and then leave it at that you're not actually advancing something for me, this is more about unsuccessful and successful protest movements and how people end up hyper-focusing or lasering in on certain things that otherwise are counterproductive. <sighs> anyway. Oh, if all you said was, I'm not playing the game at the end, 10,000 chatters every day would ask why, why, why. I know, but I could, you know, if, if there was, um, here's the thing, man. If I was we, cowardly, I would have just said, I'm not playing the game because of solidarity with trans people. That's it. You know what I mean? That's, that's what I would do. Not saying that other people that are doing that are cowardly, by the way, because some people probably do think that that is the best way to show solidarity. Okay. I personally, on the other hand, don't believe that that is an adequate way to protest and I can't fucking for the life of me shut the fuck up about it, okay? That's it. That's literally it. I can't and I won't, but that's partially why you appreciate what I do. Let's be real. Even when it sometimes pisses you off because you can't for the life of you understand where I'm coming from, okay? How do you protest it? My goal originally is, uh, is, is paired up with my assessment, okay? I knew that this was going to be the fucking bangbusters release. I knew that it was going to be probably one of the highest, like, most popular games this year. If not, definitely the most popular game. 
it broke records on pre-release, like before it was even out. The game's not even fully out yet, and it's already breaking records on Twitch. I knew that that was going to fucking happen. So in, instead of like, you know, instead of uh, it trying to do a disorganized movement that basically fell on its fucking face, yeah, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out. So obviously that will be number one. Um, but the point is, instead of, instead of, Instead of yelling at people and like coming across and like turning this into propaganda because I knew that it was going to turn into propaganda. Like like the trans people are so crazy. Like look at them yelling at everyone, bullying people. Okay. Shit like that. I thought that the best thing to do in this circumstance was instead to play the game and get a bunch of fucking of the top streamers who were going to play the game anyway to raise funds and to make people aware of J.K. Rowling's transphobia. People thought that that was silly because we were putting money in J.K. Rowling's pocket. J.K. Rowling is not making a, uh, like, she's not making a noticeable amount of money off this game, okay? She's a fucking billionaire. And the IP itself is already removed almost entirely from transphobia. J.K. Rowling isn't like, oh, man... Can't wait for the fucking Harry Potter game to come out so I can, you know, take all those funds and fund another movement, like fund another anti-trans piece of legislation. Like, that's silly. She already has more money than God. And on top of that, nobody keeps the same energy for all of the other avenues that Harry Potter touches. The only reason why we're just like hyper-focusing on this game is because J.K. Rowling can't shut the fuck up and that's really fucking annoying on top of her being like a, a psychotic transphobe. There are plenty of psychotic transphobes that own shit, okay? J.K. Rowling, on top of that, is like impossible to shut the fuck up. She loves flexing it. Anyway, I can't shut the fuck up either, but at least my heart is in the right place. You participated in Twitch boycotts that you knew were feckless, so it's understandable you had enough of this unorganized style of boycotting. Exactly. Ding, ding, ding. That too. I'm, I can't. I can't, like, constantly make people feel good about themselves, even when I see something that they're doing that is a piece of activism that is going to be unsuccessful. I don't like that. And if I did that, it would have 100% it would save me so much heartache. Okay. Anyway, so my criticisms of this are not about, like, J.K. Rowling. They're not even about transphobia. They're not about trans people. They're about successful and unsuccessful forms of protest. But given the nature of the Internet and given the, the danger that trans people face on a daily basis, emotions were high, and, of course, people did not interpret it as that, as that. And they interpret it as a, another white cis ally who's shitting all over trans people because he wants to play a baby game so bad. I don't give a fuck about the baby game. I give a fuck about a successful version of a protest because this was demonstrably a failure. And I hope that we can learn our lessons from this and then potentially do better next time. Obviously, me as a cis person will never be able to get across to a lot of trans people in this regard because you automatically shut me out and you say, you're cis, you're fucking, you're just speaking over us. You don't care about trans people. While that's not true, I mean, I am cis and I am speaking over trans people, that is true. I'm not speaking over trans people as a cis person, but you could play literally another game. This is why you are K-pop girl in my chat as a 32-month subscriber and not fucking a Twitch streamer. Okay, playing any other game and raising money is great and fine. You are missing the point. Please, please. I've described this so many fucking times, man. It's not about playing any other game and raising money for causes. And I'm also going to be helping Juniper uh, uh, establish her own 
uh, Celeste gameplay on Twitch. It's starting on Monday, okay? It's not about that. People have also, Juniper herself even, has made fun of me uh, by fucking subtly throwing shade my way by being like, oh, it's capable. People are capable of raising money by not playing uh, Hogwarts. It's not about that. The point is to play it and be a part of that discourse in a positive way because the other way is just only going to lead to people being like, oh, fuck, you're the trans people again going crazy. The game in and of itself is newsworthy. Do you understand? I did stream on Twitch, though. Honestly, I gave up. Okay, well, don't give up, okay? But, like, I didn't, and... I think I know a thing or two about how this fucking space works. Can we please at least admit, admit that? <sighs> it's sad. I get why people don't understand how stream metas work. I get why people don't understand how the attention economy works, okay? But please, if you don't believe anything I'm saying, just there are things that I am demonstrably fucking good at. And that is understanding the attention economy and, and how to message certain things. So much for the idea that capitalism rules all or that capitalism always wins. It does win when it comes to money making, right? This, this game will continue to make money, but it doesn't win when it comes to the culture. I want to talk a little bit more about that in just a second. It's pretty amazing stuff. Speaking of woke companies, now your wireless company probably is spending money on a bunch of causes. You what the fuck? Oh my God, he's so... Wait, is this over? Is the story over? That's it? He's just like... Twitter. Are you? And two... Be a veteran. Are not for you. And two... Protect against downside liabilities for the company. This is the entire HR department. That's it? That's all he talked about? Hunter Biden? Okay, he goes into Hunter Biden. That's it. That's, that's all he said? Okay, got it. I'm glad. Even at your most frustrated while being met with no charitable, you'll still be able to be empathetic. And I appreciate you for that. Thank you. 